Sources within the military and those close to Vice President Konstantino Chuenga have revealed he is not happy with President Emerson Mnangagwa's cabinet appointments and he has noted the sidelining of party officials perceived to be his allies. Mnangagwa last week announced ministerial appointments dominated by members of his family and close allies doing away with Chiwenga's personal doctor, Dr. John Mangwiru, who was deputy youth minister, among others. Built by a 52.6% presidential election win, Munangagwa appointed his son David Kudakwashi as the deputy finance minister, his nephew Tongai Munangagwa as deputy tourism minister, and Angeline Gata, wife to Cesar's untouchable Sidney Gata, as deputy minister of primary and secondary education. Usually, allies Monica Mchanga and husband Christopher were also rewarded with women's, women's affairs and all veterans' ministerial posts. Christopher played a key role in the 2017 coup that landed Munangagwa Zimbabwe's presidency. Jinfas Muskwere, who is reportedly related to the Munangwagas, was appointed as the information minister despite initial protests at how he had been allowed to contest in Zimbabwe's August 23 elections considering his lack of support. Muskwere lost internal party primaries before Munangagwa stepped in to protect him and ensure his re-election. Sources from within Chuenga's camp who spoke to this publication revealed that the former army general was not happy. They said, the appointments were so brazen and that is what has disappointed Chuenga, said a source who preferred anonymity. Chiwenga feels Munangagwa has deliberately clipped him off all powers by ensuring the bulk of ministries in his cabinet are loyal to him. Chiwenga also questioned why Mangwiro could not just have been appointed Minister of Health, why Gata has a post and how Owen Muda Ngobe has been allowed to come back. Ngobe, who was left off duties under unclear circumstances, is now State Minister for Midlands Province. He has been accused of financing and encouraging violence in the province through the use of a closely knit militia that was last year accused of killing Citizens Coalition for Change supporter Bonnie Ngwe. This is Zanopi of things do not go as everyone would assume they should. Chiwenga is yet to share what he tends to do after this, but I tell you, it will not be easy for President Mnangako. His team will be marred by internal fights until 2028 if he manages to handle his issues up to that end. Munangagwa is in his second and final term as president with all indications that Chiwenga will take over leadership of the party and state in 2028. Also in Munangagwa's cabinet is Yemu Soda, a virtually unknown character until he replaced favorite Fortune Chasi as energy minister. Soda hails from First Lady Auxilia Munangagwa's Mashonal and Central Province and it is said that they are related. Paul Mavima has been handed a new ministry skills audit to ensure his presence while polite, polite Kambamura bounced back as the deputy mines minister. Both are also close associates of Nangagwa. Sekai Nzenza, who hails from Chuenga's weather district, was let loose by Nangagwa, while Kirsty Coventry, who is believed to have enjoyed the protection of the vice president, was retained as sports minister. Chuenga himself he had been enjoying extra perks as health minister last term following the sacking of Obedia Moyo on corruption allegations that were eventually dismissed. But he himself has also been let loose from the health ministry under also unclear circumstances as the president last term indicated that he was doing his job and doing it well.